If you want the taste of fresh summer fruit year round, why not try your hand at making jam? Kim Quay is a grand champion jam and jelly maker who's created hundreds of variations. She joins us in the AM kitchen. Lots of awards to your name. The Royal Winter Fair. Do you? I mean, at one point you entered, you know, nine. I think three were the top. And then I, I, I looked at the list of all the awards <laughs> you got for judge favorites, fan favorites, grand champion. Oh, you've done your research. Yeah, well, it's just it's very impressive. We're glad that you could come in and talk a little well, bit about it. Thank you for having me. How long have you been making jams and jellies? Um, I think it goes back about maybe 15 years maybe not quite and it only started because I had a whole whack of um, fruit trees on the property and the plums are dropping off and uh, they were attracting bees and I'm a little afraid of bees yeah, so, so I, said that's two of us. <laughs> I said to my neighbor I said what do I do but all this she says make jam and wow I said, I'm not domestic I don't make jam and she, <laughs> so she told me how and then I started creating and then it just got completely out of control so well and and when you say out of control one of the things that you do is you combine some flavors mix and match and kind of come up with combinations that you like winning ones at that <laughs> um, what are you making here today well today we're gonna make peach jam with a little bit of a twist to it and of course uh, we're very fortunate and then I, I live in Niagara on the lake and the peaches we're, now are just peaches are in season so are plums raspberries blueberries and everything's available and of course if you live in the Toronto area you can just go to a farmers market and pick them up and this is a great way to preserve summer. So you take all these and peel them to begin yep. with. Peel these them and just, oh, people have, have a lot of uh, different ways of peeling them. I just use a peeler. Some people will blanch okay. them in water and then the skins just slip right off. Okay. So you peel them and then crush them or chop them. So here we have three and two thirds um, of uh, chopped peaches. How many? Do you know how many peaches wow, turn into Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> I have no I would clue. say <laughs> that's probably about eight or nine peaches. Wow, okay. Okay, so we're going to just take this and put this in the pot. This is very easy, so everybody that is afraid of making jam, you can do, you can this. do this. You can do this. And there's nothing else in there other than the chopped or... This know, is just peach. chopped okay. peaches. Okay. So we're going to take seven and a half cups of uh, sugar. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my gosh. And just put that in there. <laughs> We're going to take a quarter cup of lemon juice. All right. So that's a little bit of the acid. We're going to mix this all up and put it on the heat. And you want to bring this to a boil. And it's going to boil. All the sugar will sort of dissolve and yeah. go into this. And you wait for to come to a boil. It's mm -hmm. going to boil really hard where you can't stir it down. So for how long would that take? It takes about say? five, ten minutes. Oh, okay. It's not too long. It's okay. not too long not at bad. all. No, not at all. So. By the magic of TV, we do have one here that we have boiled. That you've boiled down. Yep. Okay. And make it nice. So now we're just going to boil it, and it's already, and sometimes it gets a little foamy. And you haven't added anything other than what's in this I have thing. not okay. added anything else. So you want to stir it until all the foam goes down. Yes. And then you take your, for the purposes of this recipe, I'm using liquid pectin. There are different kinds of pectin you can use. So we have, this one is the liquid. You can get powdered. And you can get Pomona natural pectin. But you I need can tell that you. to make you it. You do need yes. it. Um, in the old fashioned days, you'd just boil it and boil it till it came down to something that gelled. Okay. But in nowadays, everybody's a little bit more fast. It's a little so easier want, with and that. And you want to make it easy. All right. So you would take two of these pouches and you would open them and just drop them right into that jam mm -hmm. and stir it. Make sure it goes all the way through because this is what's going to help you gel. Oh my gosh. And because we can't make just a normal peach jam, right? So here comes the twist. Here comes the twist. You're letting us in on a That's secret. Right. That's okay. right. That's What's right. the twist? Okay, so I'm going to take my little measuring cup. And here we have a little <laughs> bit of amaretto. <laughs> That's it. Oh, what a lovely flavor a combination bit, uh, with the peaches. And if you like, you can always, uh, so we're going to use a third. Okay. And if you're wondering why I use two and th uh, three and two thirds cups of uh, peaches at the beginning. Yes. Because we want to allow for this third cup of amaretto to be stirred in. For the liquid and it'll exactly, still gel. Exactly. Because okay. jams can be a little bit finicky and you want to make it so that um, it gels. And well, the alcohol sometimes has a little bit of an adverse effect, but what a, d a wonderful flavor. And you do this right this at the very is end. This lovely. Okay. All right. Thank you. I know um, uh, we might get a chance to just have a little taste at the end of the show, if that's okay. That would be wonderful. Okay. I, I highly encourage that. <laughs> right. You'll find um, the Amaretto Peach Jam recipe on our website, canadam.ctvnews.ca.